Hi, I'm Bill Doherty, co-founder of the Doherty Relationship Institute. And I want to say something very serious here about the situation in which you're working with a couple and you find out that one of them, sometimes two, but usually one of them is seriously considering divorce, seriously considering not doing any more work, just you know, giving up. What I'm saying is that this is an emergency in the couples therapy that requires some special work. That it's not a good idea to just note that, be empathic with that, talk about it a little bit, and then go back to your regular work with the hope that you can help them see the light on some things, maybe they'll have a good week in between. Now sometimes that could work, sometimes you'll be lucky that that'll happen. But what I'm suggesting is this is the couples therapy analog to somebody saying they're suicidal. Okay, we're not just doing our regular dep depression protocol here or a medical analogy. Be, you know, you're in your primary care doctor's office and you mention chest pain or difficulty breathing. Ding, 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 ding. The doctor goes back from your knee and says, okay, let's talk about this because this is life threatening can be life-threatening. So it can be marriage-threatening when somebody has this thought, this feeling that they're thinking of leaving the relationship. And that's why I developed the sermon counseling as a specialized way to say, okay, we're not doing regular couples therapy right now. We're doing something different. And there's a whole lot of, there's a big protocol involved in it. But my basic point today is take the risk immediate risk of breaking up as the couples therapy equivalent of a suicidal patient and do some different things rather than your regular thing. Take it really seriously. Suspend other stuff and focus there.